Now to the case of Cain Velasquez. A judge ruled today that Velasquez, the mixed martial arts star, must stay in jail with no bail allowed. The former UFC champion is accused of trying to shoot a man suspected of molesting Cain's four-year-old relative. KTV's crime reporter Henry Lee joins us now with more on the judge's decision. Henry. Claudine, the DA says this is a case of vigilante justice that put the public at risk. But this UFC champ's supporters and attorneys say the wrong man is in jail. This is why people are disgusted, and rightfully so, with the criminal justice system. Celebrity defense attorney Mark Garagos says it's unfair that his client, Cain Velasquez, was denied bail when the man charged with molesting the UFC champ's child relative is out on the streets. We plan on vindicating Cain. We plan on getting Cain back with his family. Forty years of doing this, I can't believe that this is what the criminal justice system thinks is the right outcome. At a hearing in San Jose, a judge denied bail for Velasquez, who's been charged with attempted murder, assault, and shooting at an occupied vehicle. Police say Velasquez tried to shoot Harry Galarte, who's been charged with molesting Velasquez's four-year-old relative at the daycare owned by Galarte's mother. Authorities say Velasquez also chased Galarte and his parents at high speed from Morgan Hill to South San Jose before ramming their truck twice and again firing shots at them. Two bullets hit Galarte's stepfather, who is now recovering. The shooting and chase happened three days after a different judge freed Galarte from custody on supervised release over the DA's objection. Velasquez's supporters packed the court hearing. Many wore T-shirts with free cane across the front. That man should have never been let out of jail. Yeah. He did what any father would do. Erica Trinchero was among those who came to support Velasquez. How they can consider molestation a nonviolent crime is beyond me and something needs to change. The wrong man is behind bars. Police say Velasquez fired at least seven shots from a legally registered 40 caliber handgun. Now, Velasquez has declined interview requests from jail where he's in protective custody. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.